What's up guys? It's your boy Hotshot coming back with another video. We down in the alley kids. What you know about the alley boy? So today we're gonna expose Hotshot Trucking. What won't they tell you about Hotshot Trucking? But what do you need to know? We're gonna tell you right now. Alright guys, it's your boy. So, what won't they tell you about hot shot trucking that you need to know that could cause you failure or misunderstanding? Well, got me a little list. My memory's about shot and getting old. So, number one, it's not easy. Hot shot trucking is not easy. It takes a lot of determination, as you seen in yesterday's video, stamina, your willingness, it just takes a whole lot of stuff. And it's not for everybody. It's a lifestyle. It's not a job. It's not nine to five, it's not 10 to six, 10 to two, it's none of that. It's a lifestyle, it's a job with a lot of sacrifice. Giving up your family for weeks on end. Listening to your kids cry. Having your wife be upset and cry. Yo, because you got to leave. You can't stay when they say, I want you to stay, I love you. You can't. You got to go. Can you handle that? Can you emotionally handle that? You got to put in long hours. Long hours by yourself. Are you a person that can be by yourself for that long? Not talk to nobody. Not see another person for 12 hours, 10 hours. Yeah, you've got the phone. But let me tell you something. I get tired of talking to the same old people. I mean, I love the people I talk to. I love them. But loaded, it, load it. You know, they talk so much. But there's one guy. I man, I tell you what, man, we can talk for hours about anything and everything. You know, but it's just, are you a solitude type of person? Do you need to be around people? Are you self-motivated? You need to motivate yourself. You, you can't have, you can't be waiting on people to motivate you. You gotta be a self-starter, a self-teacher. You've gotta think outside the box. You've gotta do what no one else is willing to do. All in a 14 hour period, every single day. And this is a people business. As much as I just said, your solitude, you're alone. It's a people business. If you can't get along with people, if you can't make the customers like you and appreciate you, you're not gonna succeed. People buy from people they like. People deal with people they like. They like your attitude, your charisma, your personality. That's what people look for. If you don't have that, if you're grumpy, grumpy grandpa, negative Nancy all the time, and all you do is complain on every job or you have a problem on every move, you're not going to get the next one. They black flag truckers all the time. You get black flag. You know what I mean? You, um, they, they just won't deal with you. They don't like your attitude, they won't deal with you. Because there's so many other truckers. Right now, it's a broker's market, shipper's market. Next year, I bet you it's a trucker's market, but you still have to earn your customers. You still have to do the right thing. You gotta be open to listen and do different stuff. You have gotta be willing to listen to people you don't like. A lot of people don't like me, and I'm not saying you have to listen to me, but I think I got some knowledge that would help you, you know? There's people that I can't stand, but I listen because it's about the knowledge. There's people younger than me that teach me every day. If you're one of the guys that think age and experience is the end all be all, you're wrong. I have more knowledge and experience in some 60 year olds because they're just starting. A lot of people take that age thing and say, oh, I'm a, man, I'm a 60 year old man, I know everything. You may, about a different topic. 
Ooh, this one here, boys. This is a marathon, not a sprint. You're not going to get rich tomorrow. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Take your time. Steady. You know, you're, you're not going to see your results right away. You, you're not. It, the average business takes three years to make money in. Trucking is no different. No different at all. So, you've got to be... Um, You've got to take your time, patience, be steady as a rock. Rocks don't move, they're super steady. Now this is an expensive business. I may have made $280,000 last year, but I put a lot of it back into the business. Even though it was net to my pocket, I still put it back. Because you gotta keep going up, keep upgrading, keep upgrading. And there's little to no reward in the, in the beginning. You're, you're not going to see a reward. All you see is problems, issues, sacrifices. want to get, you know, just give up. It's going to spit you out. Because it's not an immediate return. It's not. Um, and it's not a vacation sightseeing. People think they're going to go sightseeing with, with their wife and, you know, they're going to take the whole family and go on paid vacations. That's not what it is, bro. A business is like a newborn baby. You have to cater it, you know, caress it, coddle it. You got to take care of it. Um, because it, it can't take care of itself, you know. When you just start a business, you, you have a foundation that you've laid. If you haven't laid a good enough foundation to run and make money, which most of us don't because of, in my case, lack of planning, lack of research, because I didn't have none of this. I didn't have YouTube. There was no <clears throat> hot shot truckers on YouTube or YouTube truckers, you know what I mean? It wasn't there. But I had to use the big boy stuff and uh, a little different. So the, um, you know, the business isn't gonna take care of you for a long time. So you got to take care of it. And unfortunately, people get on Facebook. They get on some of these channels. And even I'm a culprit. You see how good I'm doing. You see what I got, where we're at. But what you fail to do is go back to the beginning. Go back to two years ago when I was in a 95 pickup truck, struggling, ready to give everything up. We're programmed to look at the here and now. We only live in the past if it's negative, you know. Um, most people want the easy way out, you know, and that's why this is an 80% 80, 80 success rate because there is no easy way out. I mean, if you were, um, if you were brought into money, you grew up in money, you got old money, then you've got money. That doesn't mean you can run the business. That just means you have enough money to throw away till you learn the business. And unfortunately, some of us don't have that. So like, if we throw that money away, that's money we needed for the business. You know, so <clears throat> that's what I'm trying to do with this channel is my whole goal is to get you guys, the new up-and-coming aspiring truckers, to um, be successful without all the problems. And you're still going to have problems, but um, trucking is trucking is evil, you know, at times. And if you if you ride around, and I know you guys probably don't know this, but I started in 2017, and my number is 301. That's how it starts. So anything older, like before 301, like 299, 300, at the beginning of the numbers, that company is over three years old. If you look at DOT numbers, they're either real recent, or most of them are real old. There's very few that are around the 301s 
the three hundreds. Um, just because the first year you're on cloud nine, like it's rough, but you're on cloud nine. The second year you're kind of getting going, but then you want to better yourself and you make the mistakes <clears throat> that throw you backwards. Um, how do I know? You know, I did it with putting people on. Um, you know, and just different things can cause different problems. Trucking is not, it's not a uh, get, rich, get rich quick. It's not for the faint in heart. Um, you know, but it's very lucrative if you can live the lifestyle, not do the job. So if you just want to do the job, then you need to be a company driver or something to that nature. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here. I think I've rambled on about long enough. So that's what they don't tell you about trucking. Hopefully you got something out of it. You learned. Take it with you in your new venture. So like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding, ding. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Oh, where am I? You guess where I'm at. Peace.